Hello, my name is Dallas. I'm back with more Monster Hunter World. I've decided to be a bit bold since I'm running out of hunting quests that involve me actually hunting something. So, but instead of doing the Rathalos, I'm gonna try the Diablos because I have not seen it yet. I have no idea where it spawns. So let's go to the main area. Okay, light. Unsure what to expect. But a defense up seems like a good, solid decision. I also swapped out my Palico's gear for this one to the Vigor Wasp spray. Let's go ahead and depart. Attacks of the charge blade are harder to deflect when its file effects are active. Which is useful when targeting tough body parts. I actually didn't know that. I still have to figure out how to build up files and store them because I've heard that you can just mash the files into the shield and it like it's supposed to have a glow effect, but I didn't really get how that was working or if it was working. Uh, top of the food chain is very concerning. Luckily, I stacked up and like, oh look, some Grumblekins, I need to go talk to them immediately. A cactus? What are you at? Come help me fight this thing. What do my seeds exactly do? Temporarily improve attack power, I think, if I was reading that right. Oh, so now I just gotta figure out where it is. My biggest worry is that what's gonna happen last time is gonna happen again where I don't beat it in time and then it just leaves the area because I don't want to go through that again. So I think the first thing I want to do as soon as I see it is pop a mite seed. I assume if it's gonna be anywhere then it's probably going to be in the northern area where kind of I haven't really explored much. Oh, it's bare off the tracks. So I don't really need that. Oh, there's some old footprints that I don't recognize. Let's track that. I don't see anything showing up. Maxed out on herbs. That's a Rathian. It's probably not over there then, I would assume. Cause that's all I've seen over there. Oh, I'm starting to find him now. Old scratches. Okay, got the trail. Okay, this way. He's over kind of near the bear off. Oh, also, that's not what I want to do. I should probably start making some mega potion. Because now I freed up some space for a couple of herbs.
I need to get the scratcher. Okay, well, cutscene time. Like, hey, it's those bear it's that bear off those tracks I saw. This is getting kind of spooky. Oh good. And he has wings. Does that mean he can fly and I'm going to have a bad time now? I mean, he only killed a bear off. I'm not particularly impressed. I killed several of them. Oh, he's a big horny boy. That came out wrong. I should probably retract that statement immediately. off of his tail immediately. He just charges. Ow. Make sure I bounce right off of his face too, that's no good. Let's go ahead and boost my attack. He's underground. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to drop a bigger wise station. So I'm gonna die. Grab that real quick. Good thing I went with heels. This fight, I'm not even sure how to approach it when I just bounce off of his face and tail like those are my whole two attacking points. Oh. And he can also go underground like that, which is no good. Line is probably a good start though. Looks like his belly's kinda weak. Unless that was just a good hit. Seems like as long as I don't hit him in the horns, he doesn't deflect my abilities. Those seem to be his strongest point. Oh and I'm stunned. Oh no. Tell him to go ahead and deliver a bigger wasp to me. And there goes like half my health, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that real quick. So that seems like the best time to attack him is after avoid that ability. And I'm 
almost done. That's cool. I'm gonna get my mega potion ready. I got somebody else to join the quest. That's good. So I do one of those. Oh no, he wasted it. I probably need to sharpen. I think he was tired there and I just wasn't paying attention. He's running. So less damage for a minute. I guess it doesn't make much of a difference. Especially when he could just do that. Oh, my. Okay, he set up a station. That's good. I'm probably going to accidentally hit it right here. here. Okay, I wasted that. Well, that was a bit of a right after they set up a Vigoros station, I saw that I was pretty much trapped. So, back ahead. On the bright side, at least it's my quest if we end up failing, so... I guess that's a little bit of a comfort there. ability back. So I gotta go all the way down here. Oh, I can't move. 
So what I've learned from that is that I need to stay away from those like waterfall sections. Or those sand areas where the sand is pouring down. Stop with the half my health, that's no fun. And I'm stunned. Too close. I don't really see much that I can use to regen or make my health stronger, so that's no good. basically want to keep my health at a point where I don't have to worry about getting hit. Oh, I fainted again right as I was about to grab it. I should have just used the potion. Okay, let's see if I can craft. Okay, that's a little bit better. I should have just used the potion there. That was entirely my bad. ready for these quests and I don't really know what I can do to better prepare myself I think I guess I can farm like a Rathian set or see what sets are actually available for me to improve my gear but hmm. which way do I need to go I'm lost okay that way At least I'm glad I got somebody to help who seems to know what they're doing, because I definitely don't. I mean, I sort of get the gist of the fight, but it seems like my weapon's not sharp enough to deal any major damage to him. And... Uh, so, like, I can't do anything about his horns or his tail. And then I don't know when the good time to hit him is, because it seems like right after he comes out of the ground is the best time. And he's above ground now, that's cool. Oh, we died. 
That's fine. Well. That was no good. I was just about to try to jump on him so that I could see about, like, distracting him and knocking him down, but didn't expect my the person who joined me to die right there. Oh, uh. Okay, partner. I've set up quests for the Fire Wyvern and the Horned Wyvern. Tail Rider Safari's return. Ecological research results are available. Diablos. Let's check his field guide really quick. There he is. Apex monster of the wilds far away. Some menacing to throw beast that lurks underground. Loud noises will cause it to lunge out of the sand in search of prey. Diablos can be forcibly brought to the surface by using loud sounds. And its charging attack while devastating and powerful can be baited into colliding into a wild spire, momentarily getting him stuck. Ooh, Rathos versus the Airborne. Flash bomb or shot can send them crashing to the earth. Wounding their wings gives them a moan of vulnerability whenever they try to take flight. That's kinda neat. I knew about the flash rounds, but I didn't know. Okay, what well, would cause a loud boom? Ah. Uh, bombs, probably, but that's probably not the way to go. Emits a harsh, high frequency sound. Is that what I want? I don't see anything that would look like it. I think screamer pods are what I want, but I don't know what a screamer sack is. Or where to get it. Oh, it's you. Let's collect my harvest. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything there that I can use, but although it's unfortunate, I think I should probably end it there since I didn't have any luck with the Diablos. I am thinking that screamer pods are probably what it wants me to use. And maybe in the meantime I can try to get some flash pods ready to take on the Rathlos again eventually. But I I also did realize that the event quest is an arena, so I think I want to try that next. So, thanks for watching, everybody.